We're straight from Baltimore, like right in the city. County, suburbia area. Except for the fact that I grew up in the UK, so that whole the Atlantic Ocean thing. Right. <laughs> really? I was a class clown. Got sent to uh, the principal's office first day of kindergarten. For what? Flicked off the teacher or something. Man? I didn't know what it meant. These, these symbols, these finger these symbols. These symbols. <laughs> Me and Alex had some, had some bands together. Um, yeah, Jack and I uh, experimented on each other, with each other. We would play mostly covers of other bands and sometimes write our own really awful songs. Awful. And uh, eventually Jack stalked enough people that he found Ryan. Zach basically joined the band on the basis that he could do a kickflip. We pulled the band in from a line in a New Found Glory song who at the time was like a huge inspiration for us. Yeah, Amber Pacific I think really facilitated the whole relationship. Yeah, they, the they introduced Records. us to Hopeless Records and we signed Valentine's Day of 2006. And Our senior year in high school. Yes. Dear Maria, count me in. We, uh, I wrote it about a stripper, and you might feel a little bit dirty listening to it, but that's okay because everybody likes to feel dirty at some point in their life. I got your picture. I'm coming with you. Dear Maria, count me in. And it means that I would like to join you at the bar, possibly buy a lap dance from you. Mm. Profound lyrics. It's, uh, you know, I'm deep. Cause I got your picture. I feel the studs coming on my body. <laughs> Can't spell stud without STD. We're like soccer grindcore, um, bohemian soap opera music. The video was awesome. We went to this little, you know, happy little strip club. Uh, what was it called? Like Wigglies. Lumpy or something? Wigglies. Lumpies? Wigglies. Wigglies. It was run by like these like eight foot Italian dudes who were like, all right, you've got, you've got 10 hours. <laughs> the chimp put out more than the strippers did, so it was cool. When Alex was sleeping last night, I hit him in the face with my penis. Yes, yeah, so we've been playing a lot of poker. <laughs> um, I, I usually win. I'm really good. Actually, he's won twice, yeah. and he thinks he's the he, bomb yeah. because of it. $10 buy-ins. When it gets 70 bucks, no big deal. Jack, he has this thing, natural phenomenon, that he probably farts about, I say on average, <laughs> like, probably 70 times per hour, but they never smell. So it's always kind of like a ha happy fart. That's a clean colon. I used to think the music industry was kind of like Duncan's toy chest from Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, which is kind of like <laughs> F.A.O. Schwartz toy store. But it's more like a really bad, kinky German toy store gone wrong. <laughs> That's a very good analogy. That is pretty good, actually. Just came up with that one. There's a story at the bottom of this bottle. <laughs>